Hey there, it's Michelle from Goodness Gracious Gluten Free. A while back, I polled the audience to see what people wanted to see me make while we were at home. And people were needing some ideas on what to make and teaching to twins to make for her kids with snacks that they could help with. And so here you go. This was one of my girls' favorites when they were little and not gonna lie, they're probably still gonna come out and eat this as soon as they know I'm making it. It's just at our house and you can use whatever toppings you have. Um, you can use any kind of nut butter and I just melted it in the microwave for about 30 seconds so it's runny so I can pour it over the top. I have some cut up um, kind bar and chocolate chips if you wanted to. You could add granola or whatever you like to top your apple nachos with. And you don't need a whole lot of toppings because really you're wanting them to eat the apple which is the healthiest part. So let's get started. You can use, either use an apple core and chopper or your good old handy knife. So I will cut them both ways for you so you can see. All right, and I usually use one red apple and one green apple just because um, people in my house like different things, but you can use two of whatever. Well, <laughs> you can use one apple if you are making it for one person. So you just wanna center your chopper and then you're gonna push down on it like that and the pieces come out already cut for you. Just watch your fingers. So you might wanna help kids if you're making it with them for them to do the chopping part, but then they can arrange them on the plate. Okay, so there's our green apple. I'm just gonna spread it out around our plate. And then I'll chop the red one with just my knife. like that. I'm just alternating red and green because it looks pretty. Your kids can arrange them however they would like. Just like that. And since I have more red slices, I'm just going to add them back in. In between the green ones so we use them all up. Just like that. Now, you could use almond butter or sunflower butter, peanut butter, whatever kind of nut butter you would like or not nut butter if you're using sunflower butter. And you just drizzle it over the top. And really, the, this just adheres all of your toppings to the apple. Plus, it's pretty delicious. They are a little messy, so you're going to need to be able to wipe your fingers when you're done. And then I'm not going to add the chocolate chips today because I have a chopped up um, bar with already nuts and chocolate in it. And so I'm just going to drizzle that over the top. Just like that. And your kids will think you have a really fancy treat for snack. There you go. Apple nachos with goodness gracious gluten free.